All righty, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Another fun day here. We are going to the flea market out to Leesport this morning. Currently just shy of four o'clock. Uh, don't know how many more days we're going to have that we can get out to Leesport just because I know the sun's going to be coming up a little bit later. And when the sun does come up a little bit later, it usually means that everyone arrives and shows up at one time and it just becomes absolutely chaotic. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. It's also chowing down on morning breakfast as always. Let's make it a fun one. Let's do it. And like deja vu, we are back at the flea market. The sky is coming up. Looks beautiful over there. Nice little golf advertisement. Do you have any more of these or just the one? I thought I might have a second one, but man, I don't know where it would be. All right, so I got all these awesome railway, railway hats. They're all different patches on them, um, as well as that gold thing earlier. I got some vintage tees at the bottom. I don't know, I think I spent 11, so I got 11 items. 11, 11 pieces there, so pretty neat. I think they're kind of uh, like someone did them themselves. It came from a wholesaler who probably dealt in selling those kind of hats because I don't think they're all vintage or they're on vintage hats, but they're not vintage, like authentic vintage.
Is this a dollar? Do you have any idea what it is? No, okay. <laughs> Do I have that? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty excited there. That Eagles hat. I thought that was a sports specialty script, but it's a reprint. It's a Mitchell Ness. So even with hats, there are reprints. All right, so here's the whole haul that I got. Uh, I got everything, even peaches and stuff. Uh, just doing a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, I know I do get this question and comment a ton, probably well over a hundred messages, comments, uh, questions, DMs every single day uh, in regards to where can I purchase this stuff? How can I find your eBay store? I'm interested in buying this. How much would shipping cost? Right now in 2020, I am not doing any of that. I'm not promoting my eBay store on my YouTube account. Um, I'm not promoting uh, private sales. As long as I'm doing eBay and Etsy, I'm trying to keep that whole business side away from YouTube just because I know there's a lot of trolls. I know a lot of people end up just pretty much going out and buying anything and selling it to you guys because they use their, their stance on YouTube uh, to help promote their own business. And, you know, I'm just still trying to create just content that you guys might enjoy. I know I talk about this a lot. I know I probably mentioned this probably once every three three or four weeks um, in terms of my eBay store, but I get a ton of questions and comments about it. Uh, moving forward, I think next year I might open up my own store, get rid of eBay completely, get rid of Etsy completely, focus just on YouTube, and also in my store I will be offering products that I do find, whether it be thrifting or, or flea markets or auctions, having to select items on there if you guys are interested in purchase, purchasing anything, I might do it that way. Everything on that site will have to fit in a large flat rate box or smaller, as well as everything on that site will be discounted dramatically as opposed to eBay prices. So I'll be passing on these deals to you guys and girls. You'll be paying way under eBay price. Um, it's not going to be, hey, Taco Stacks is making a million dollars. It's more about if you guys can enjoy this stuff, enjoy the treasure hunt, and you want something, you can have an opportunity to get this at a great price as well. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of things I find and a lot of things I pass up on that people would definitely love to have and definitely have at a bargain, but they don't want to go on eBay and pay a million dollars. So uh, that might be the option. I'm more focused on clothes. I know a lot of people are more focused on hard goods, uh, so we'll see how that plays out. But that would be only if I cancel eBay and cancel Etsy and just focus on YouTube in general. But like I said, everything will be discounted dramatically. I know a couple other YouTubers do it that way. They focus only on YouTube. It creates a much easier structurally shaped uh, business approach in terms of just focusing on one way of doing business. So maybe we'll do that next year. I don't know if I'll end up quitting eBay and Etsy, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what I got here 
is a bunch of cool things. So I grabbed this. This is literally just a hunk of brass. It's kind of neat. It's kind of a nice plate, but it probably weighs like five pounds. So on scrap, it's like six or seven bucks. I would hate to try to sell this at the flea market because I know I'd only get like two dollars for it. Uh, but really interesting, don't you think? Just this is all brass. It's kind of interesting. Got peaches. I don't know why I got peaches. Um, this was cool. This was only a buck. Nice golf advertisement. Golf, golf, fuels, lubricants, tires, batteries, insecticides, kerosene, and heating oil. Kind of cool. I like. I, I've been picking up a bunch of this kind of stuff recently. All this sort of uh, golf uh, advertisements always the best to have. Uh, this one is a mason jar. Mason jar. Uh, as you guys see, it's a triple L. 1900 to 1910 is when they made these. So this guy is a, he's an old sucker. I'll tell you that. Uh, just think about the history of what's probably been in here. Who drank out of it. What was stored. What basement it belonged to. Triple L design. Probably my favorite aside from maybe the block font. Not really worth a lot, but given its age, I always try to grab these for a buck. Very, very cool in that. Uh, the same person who had these t-shirts also had the hats. A bunch of vintage stuff. I grabbed the t-shirts. Uh, pretty much grabbed all the vintage stuff in, in terms of t-shirts and clothing. Aside from there was another one of these shirts. Uh, we have a Utah State. Kind of like a raglan design. More like a performance shirt. But it's 1970s. Very, very cool piece there. We have an Operation Desert Storm. 1990. Nice single stitch shirt there, as well as a log convention. 1990 out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania on the old Haynes Beefy made in the USA. I grabbed all these hats for a dollar each. These look like they're vintage hats uh, with a new patch. Looks like glued on. Uh, almost like they were heat pressed glued on. So we got some rail railway stuff. We have Grand Trunk Railway, Southern Pacific, Missouri Pacific Lines. Union Pacific, this is the only black hat out of it, Canadian National Railways, Spokane, Portland, and Seattle Railways, a rail yard. This is probably my favorite one out of the bunch. This is Western Fast Freight Line, Maryland. And I guess we have another Southern Pacific, but you can see there's kind of like a glue residue on the top. So uh, most likely they just used one of those presses. They had a bunch of patches and that's the way to do it. These things always sell uh, anything with some sort of advertisement, especially railway advertisement sells really well. The only ones that really don't sell are local farms or agricultures, stuff of that nature. Uh, but oil, railway, soda, beverages, food. Uh, those are always great to have uh, in terms of these trucker, in terms of these trucker mesh bag hats. But overall, yet another fun day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure on. Catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.